Hello to the gamers and the non-gamers. Using Twitter as a streamer in 2015. Hey guys, I'm going live in five minutes. Next tweet. Hey guys, I'm live. Next tweet. Hey guys, I've been live in five minutes. Using Twitter as a streamer in 2022. Hey guys, going live. Link in bio. Delete the tweet after the stream. Using Twitter as a streamer in 2030. Never tweeting. Never tweeting. We're out here in the, in the next decade already. Can you believe it? Can I, can I briefly give you a, an out-of-touch uh, anecdote from yesterday? I had a meeting uh, with my accountant yesterday. And then after that, I had a meeting um, with the person who, who administers my life insurance, okay? At the meeting with a, my accountant, he gave me a, a bottle of wine and a large gift set of hand, so, hand lotions and soaps to give to my wife. When I met with my life insurance administrator... He gave me uh, an enormous, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a Chinese New Year cabinet. And it has like eight drawers. And all the drawers have uh, like boutique candies inside of them. First thought I had at both of these meetings, I must be paying way too fucking much for these services. That is not right. They should not be, they should not feel comfortable giving me these gifts. Because they, they should be, like, mad that I'm taking a meeting with them. They should be like, I'm too fucking busy. I can't do this shit. Here's, do you want a cup of coffee or something like that? When they started handing me bags, I was like, this is, this is fucked up, man. I got to switch services. They, they know I'm not gonna because there's, like, inertia. How big is the cabinet? It's not, it's not the size of, like, an armoire. It's, uh... If I had to guess, I would say it's probably, like... I mean, I'm being legitimate with you. I bet it's 16 inches tall. Like, it's not small, but it's, it's not like a full size. It's not something you could put shoes in, but it's like, yeah, I would say it's about as tall as a box of cereal. That's, that's a great uh, approximator. And then it's got eight drawers on it. When you pull out the, you slide out the drawers, there's a box of candy inside. Which gift did you like more? Well, I ate a lot of the candy. I'm not going to lie. They're all um, spheres, so I can't feed it to my daughter. That's my excuse. It's a choking hazard. The lotion I haven't used yet. And the wine, I don't know what I'm going to do with the wine. I Googled it to see how expensive the bottle of wine was, and I was like, this seems right. $8. So two things before we get started. I don't know, maybe two, maybe three. Um... <clears throat> I did see the uh, always watching, or all, is it always nothing? The, the AI-generated uh, low-poly Seinfeld that's on Twitch. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I know that people are... I'm, I hate AI, for the record. And I know that a lot of people hate Seinfeld. I think the more you are on that side of things, the more you should actually enjoy it. Because it is not like, whoa, what if there were infinite Seinfeld episodes? It's like, what if an alien watched Seinfeld and then made Seinfeld episodes? I mean, who hates fruit? Well, maybe he was trying to be edgy or something. Or maybe he has a secret fruit allergy. That's an interesting theory. Maybe he just doesn't know how to enjoy the sweet and juicy. <laughs> or he could just be a fruitophobe. A fruitophobe? What do you mean? Yeah, I've heard of a fear of flying, but this is ridiculous. Maybe it's a fear of commitment. It's distilled down to its, uh, to his brass tacks. Like every single apartment scene always starts with someone going, hey, did you see the news? They recently decided to plant orange trees in Central Park. What do you think about that? I don't want to see people climbing on the tree to eat all the oranges. Me neither. And then the microwave goes, yeah, beep, beep. 
Oh, man. So I, I, I know people are going to come in and ask if I've seen it. Oh, man. I, not only did I see it, I was, I was trying to stifle laughter. Also, yes, for the love of God, I have seen that Rumble versus shutting down. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm not. <laughs> you can you can stop using your data. Any thoughts on it? Yeah, I've talked about it for like multiple times on the past two days. People don't watch the stream, and yet simultaneously they have this self confidence to be like, "I bet I'm the first person to tell them this." Like, it's it's blowing my mind, man. I feel like one of the reasons that Rumble versus shutting down is because streamers will not play it for 15 minutes, or rather, I should say, would not play it for 15 minutes. But they will spend four hours tweeting about everything that they would have done if they made Rumbleverse to make sure that it would have been a success. Well, I just think, like, when I first saw the trailer, it was... And then, uh, like, the art style looked a little bit too much like Fortnite uh, for me, and I consider myself to be above-average intelligence, which, which means that anything related to Fortnite, I immediately discount without ever experiencing it in the first place. I just assume that it's going to be bad and for little kids, and... I didn't play it, but here's nine reasons Rumbleverse is shutting down, in my opinion. Thread emoji, pointing down emoji, pointing down emoji, pointing down emoji. Wish more of you fuckers played Rumbleverse so that I could have farmed a little bit more. <laughs> and, you <laughs> and eventually rage quit, when, but after the people worse than me rage quit. Like when the people worse than me decided to stop feeding, then I would have fed. Instead, I was pretty close to the, the first person to, to be food. It is a classy move, though, to, like, um, to give refunds or at least to offer refunds to everybody who purchased anything over the lifestyle or the life cycle of the game. And I was, like, um, I was going to tweet about it. Hey, this is, like, one of the most underrated games of 2022, and it's really classy for them to offer refunds. But I was just, I, I'm really getting into this like never tweeting thing. I, I'm starting to feel like this could be like a, a medium term, like lifestyle decision for me. Cause I was like, what do I expect to get out of this tweet? People are still gonna tweet me and say, hey, did you see that Rumbleverse is shutting down? And if I tweet that, um, oh, what a classy move to offer refunds to everybody people are going to be like well yeah it's not iron galaxy though really it's um and at the it's actually epic games which is uh partially funded by tencent so it's not they have infinite money anyway and um also if they were really classy they would just automatically credit your account they wouldn't make you click a button in order to uh actually receive the money back because they, they, they they know that only like one in eight people is actually gonna so yeah i feel like it's better this way it's no stadia refund I didn't know Stadia did a refund. I didn't, Stadia shutting down was actually like how I found out that it came out, which is probably not a good sign. I mean, it's already, <laughs> I don't mean to, you know, celebrate the death of Stadia, but I'm just saying, and I don't even know, like it's, I'm not saying that they don't, didn't do like a marketing push or something like that. Because people always do that shit. They'll be like, Hey, Damien Chazelle's Babylon made $3 million at the box office this weekend. Everybody point and laugh. And then people that don't leave their house are like, well, maybe it's because it's the first I'm hearing about this movie. I'm like, bitch, you just watch Netflix 24-7, ad block installed on like every single uh, device in your home. Like, of course, it's the first you're hearing about something. What do you want them to do? Spend send a billion dollars on advertisements to fly like a, an airplane with a banner behind it right by your house? Of course you haven't. It, maybe it didn't fail because you haven't heard about it. Your next tweet is like, I haven't been to the movie since 1971 anyway. I, I saw people claiming to follow the film industry say they've never heard about Tar. What do you mean you've never heard about Tar? Well, you got to remember, I'm not, listen, this, my, another reason I, I think that I've reached some level of um, nihilism, but like in a comforting way about the internet. Hey, Samantha Panther, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. One of the reasons that I feel like I've, I've come to that conclusion, well, let's not call it a conclusion because I guess it depends where you, you cut the thread, but I really feel like, and I talked about it last week, but like 50% of the shit that makes you roll your eyes on the internet actually comes from people under the age of like 16. 
So I do, I see insane tweets sometimes, and the, the tweeter will have like Green Lantern as their avatar, and you're like, who could write this insane tweet? And then you click on their profile, and it's like, my name's Dave, 17, some emoji, and then the, the four things I like in media. Like, that, it's just, it's not young people bad, it's just like, I shouldn't be reading takes from people that are like, 20 years younger than me and then being like, oh, I'm mad that this person doesn't have the same opinion as me. That's, I should, <laughs> I should just accept like, you know, if I'm, if I'm, I'm not going to quote tweet somebody and be like, wow, look at how stupid this is. And then they're going to be like, bitch, I'm in eighth grade. Cause then I'm the stupid one for being like an adult and telling all my adult friends to make fun of this eighth grader, like a, like a psycho. Now, if they're, 28, then you can talk about it. Then you could be like, whoa, can you imagine like being an adult and having this opinion? If you're like 80, even better. But it's okay. There's nothing wrong with being 28. Just uh, don't be stupid. Or perhaps the next level of evolution, recognize that everybody is stupid in some ways, including yourself. And as a result, just never say anything. I, I got to start playing nitro card racing here, okay? But don't get me started on this Netflix... Um, this Netflix password sharing measure to, to curtail password sharing, which is every 31 days they're going to log you out of your Netflix account. Do you know how close I am to unsubscribing from Netflix to begin with? One logout screen might be all it takes, honestly. A service that is not very good and costs money logging me out is just enough friction to possibly get me to be at least like once every six months or something like that. Be like, I'm out. I'm out for a little while. You have to log in to unsubscribe. Be the last time. Let me tell you that. You also have to be on your home network once every 31 days. Well, like, okay, I'm mad at that one because that one actually seems like effective. <laughs> I get the problem of like, uh, you know... Like, what if you're in a hotel? What if you're traveling for a while? Like, that that obviously, like, it's a bad use case to begin with, or it's a bad feature. But I'm also like, no, that one actually, like, mostly kind of nips it in the bud, unfortunately. How about they don't log your ass out if you're on your home network? That would be a compromise that would, like, keep me from unsubscribing, at least. What assets do you own in Teamwood Games? Well, let, let's just throw out a slash marker and we'll talk about it. Someone asked, what assets do you own in Teamwood Games? Teamwood Games and I, we have a great relationship. There's, there's been no equity exchanged, uh, but once every time that they release a new DLC, they send me a nice message like, thanks so much again for playing the game 18 months ago. It really gave us a little bit of a kickstart and we appreciate it. And then I send them a message that's like, literally, I'm a worm. I'm a worm that lives in the dirt. I don't do anything. You have the real talent. You made the game in the first place. All I did was happen to be browsing the Steam store page at the right time. I'm like, I'm a piece of shit. They're like, no, 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 we're nothing. We just made like a little emoji casino game. Wow, Tomo, you okay? He hit my microphone arm. So that's the dynamic. There's, there's been no equity exchange. Did you see the new Super Auto Pet style game that has Pokemon style mechanics? See, you might think this would make me um, mad, but I'm going to tell you a little story. Probably like three months after um, playing Super Auto Pets for the first time, Kate and I were talking about how perfect it would be for this game to... Um, for basically Nintendo to make like a triple I indie that was just a Pokemon auto battler. You just use the existing strengths of the Pokemon brand. Cute and familiar characters that everybody's familiar with. They have evolutions to begin with. So like level one could be like a little Bulbasaur that comes out here and, and at the start of battle does like a one damage leaf whip or vine whip or whatever. And then you get level two and it becomes Ivysaur. And we were like, it was like such an easy idea. I, I mean, we're especially when you're the only... The, person coming up with it. You're not the person that actually have, has to make it in the first place. And we did, I mean, I wouldn't say we pitched it to, to Nintendo, but we kind of like through a friend of a friend, we were like, we know you have contacts at the actual like production side of Nintendo. Could you like float this and see if they might be interested? 
and we basically they did and we got like full um no essentially <laughs> Which is fine. Like, I'm not gonna... I mean, like, I say no to lots of things that would be good ideas in the first place, but... So is this a real one, or is this, like, is, is it a, a Pokemon-style game with a Super Auto Pets veneer over it? Or vice versa, a, a Super Auto Pets-style game with a Pokemon veneer over it? The thing is... Okay, oh, it goes hard? My problem is, like, I would probably play... Like a lice, and, and this is like not a good take. This is just honesty, which doesn't mean that it's gonna be nice to hear. I would probably play a licensed Pokemon auto battler. I don't really care what you buff. Sounds good to me. But the odds of me playing one that has like Solbabor instead of Bulbasaur is, is low. Because, like, I, there's just so much, uh, you know, like, I already know, like, 150... I, I mean, uh, considering I play Pokemon Go, I, I, I've probably, at this stage of my life, I would say that I know 225 Pokemon. To ask me to start learning, like, new Pokemon that are not actually Pokemon, it's just, it's a tough sell. I'm not going to say that it should be a tough sell, but it's a tough sell. And the other thing is... I already went through this. When they had Digimon, which it, uh, may have predated Pokemon, and p people were like, well, actually, the anime is superior, too. Okay, well, like, good for the anime or whatever. What's the best dinosaur? I mean, I go through this a lot, okay? Because my daughter's really into dinosaurs right now. I, I've said this before. When I was a kid, there were, like, less than 10 dinosaurs that were part of the public consciousness. T-Rex, brought to any, any dinosaur that looked like a T-Rex was a T-Rex. We didn't have a Carnotaurus. We didn't have anything like that. Any dinosaur with a long neck was a Brontosaurus. We didn't know about Diplodocus. We didn't know about, you know, anything like that. Now, and then there was like, there was Triceratops, there was Stegosaurus, and then like there was Velociraptor, and then the one that spits. That's basically it. Now, I'm reading my two-year-old books about dinosaurs that are like, hey, this is uh, Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus is the dinosaur that constantly gets tweeted to me because it's the bald dinosaur with spikes around its head that, like, smashes its skull into other dinosaurs. And then there's, um, always forget, uh, there's Parasaurolophus, which is the dinosaur that has, like, a... It has like a big cylinder coming off the back of its head so that it goes and like resonates. I will say, like these are cool dinosaurs, don't get me wrong. My favorite new dinosaur that died out 197 million years ago um, that I didn't know about when I was a child, Ankylosaurus is a cool dinosaur. I like the short dinosaurs that can't be killed. Stegosaurus is another one, but... For me, I'm like, uh, I'm an Ankylosaurus guy. Can you imagine T-Rex tries to eat you and you fucking smash him with a hammer on your tail? That shit would be crazy. It would feel so good. Oh, you think you're gonna, you think you're gonna bite me? You think you're gonna bite me? Get tenderized. But even that, like my, I, I'm losing it because I'm teaching my kid way too much about dinosaurs. Like, she's interested, which is great, but, like, it's not really that relevant to the modern world. Like, I don't want her to be, like, 28 and be like, I don't know what to do with my life, but I know that this dinosaur that had feathers is called uh, Sinosaur Opteryx, right? Hello, Apollo. Hello. Hey there. My name's Larry, and here's a joke. Laughter. Anyone catch Larry's hot set at the comedy club last night where he said asterisk and then the audience laughed and then he told another joke and he said asterisk at the end of it and nobody laughed and then there was like at least five minutes of complete silence anyway this is super auto pets hello apollo hello what do you think about not pissing in the middle urinal great question i have absolutely no idea <laughs> i have no clue whatsoever Dude, we, we're going to number number six here. I can't believe it. This we we've reached respectability. 
bro code 101? I mean, I would disagree only in the sense that I feel like bro code is you always take the furthest urinal. If you have an option. Or at the very least, you take a urinal that's at least one spot away from the next closest person. If you don't have a choice, well then that's like... That's life, baby. We're going to seven, dude! It's crazy! I'm- I'm a wait for stall guy. Even if I just gotta pee, I wait for a stall. This might be it, boys. We- we did our best. There's someone in their own level two- I don't think we're getting there, but th no, we're not getting there. How about the drain? Well, the drain is just, uh, disrespectful. I'm going number seven here. When you go into like a men's bathroom and it's just a, a like a trough or something like that that you all stand at and there's no not even no dividers which is like already offensive but like not even anything to capture the fluid like it's just floating in there like a big like it's um a blended piss it's not like a single malt that's just that's how you know that the the infrastructure that you're in does not care about you beyond like charging you $21 for a beer for a hockey game. How are the bathrooms at Rogers? They're fine, but they're not amazing. I get that they've got to handle, you know, literally like 15,000 people, probably like 75% plus are men. But like, it's crazy to me that Rogers Arena is one of the oldest arenas in the NHL. This shit was built in like 1999 or something like that. It's crazy. But yeah, I always wait for the, I always wait for the stall. Lots of shy bladders in the chat. Well, that's what, like, originally I started waiting for stalls because I did have a shy bladder. Which is just annoying because you're sitting there. You never end up in the, in the piss arms race with another dude with a shy bladder at a urinal. And you're sitting, you're standing next to him and he's not pissing. And he's standing next to you and you're not pissing. And you're like, fuck it. And he knows I got a shy bladder. And I know that he's got a shy bladder. And we're both just here standing at the urinal holding our damn dicks. Please, please start pissing so that your, the sound of your piss covers the sound of me not pissing. But then I started going to the stall, like, just because there's a lot of freaks out there. No disrespect, but, like, I've been getting recognized more than usual lately. You know it's just a matter of time till I, like, walk into a bathroom. Well, I already had it happen once. I was just lucky that it was a, a normie when I used to... Uh, work out at like this community center gym i was getting full ass naked in the change room because that's the bro code and then like i just put my underwear on and somebody was like hey are you northern lion and i was like yeah and then he was it turns out he was a developer on darkest dungeon so we had like it was a taunting like mutually assured destruction i'm not going to tell the internet about his dick and ass and he's not going to tell the internet about my dick and ass we both got a lot to lose but there's going to be an asymmetry there at some point Somebody's going to be like, I saw NL at the restaurant. He excused himself to go to the bathroom. I'm going to follow him in and take a look at the head of his dick. That's why I wait for the stall. I'm not ashamed of, of what I got going on there, but it also doesn't present itself in the best light, you know, in a urinary situation. I'd at least like to, to know that there's about to be a paparazzi out there so that I could get it, you know, like in the game shape. Also, I got a shy bladder to begin with, so now, like, I, I got a shy bladder and I'm concerned that the person that followed me into the bathroom is, like, it's, it's making it even harder to piss. Let's just put it that way. How was your Peloton ride this morning? It was good. So I was reading last night that apparently, did you know that when you're training to be a better cyclist, you shouldn't just go all out every single ride? News to me. So... I've been trying to become, I, I, rather than just optimize for highest output, which is really just like ego riding, I figured, why don't I actually try to follow like what you should do for cycling training to become a better cyclist? So today, I said, rather than be out of the saddle and, you know, average like 75 to 80 cadence, why don't we average like 90 to 100, keep the resistance a little lower and move some of the work out of the legs and into the heart and lungs? So the output was not very high today. It was not that low. I still probably averaged like 180 something watts. But uh, it was like 
basically 45 minutes, 95 cadence, 45 resistance or something like that. And then um, some, some one foot pedal drills after that. Matt Wilpers class? It was a Matt Wilpers low impact class. I feel very seen right now. Okay, your team's pretty good too. But now we're going up against uh, people who are on lethal, so they're gonna be garbage, right? Right? We're gonna go to Destruction Desert. We're gonna select the track, and then I should appear in game.playnitro.com. Just checking. And then you should be able to click join race, at which point there is a lottery to see if you get in. There's no lottery for me. I'm going to get in. <laughs> I promise you that. I think we should spice it up too. I want people rooting for me. There's 500 people on the, on, in this race. If I win a race today, 50 gifted subs easy. I know that, was it last week that Ludd was streaming and he said, I'm going to stream till I win a race? Did, did that ever happen? I mean, just running the numbers, I'm like 500 races, or races with 500 people or 250 people means it should take at least 250. Well, no, I shouldn't say at least, but <laughs> I'm, I'm exposing my statistical ignorance, but it, on average, it would take 250 for him to get a, a win. Each one is going to be like five minutes long. That's like a, a twelve. That's like a twenty-hour long stream. But maybe he was in the maybe he was in the first part of the bell curve and he won the stream a little faster. He eventually did win. Man, let's go! Con congratulations. I do. I have a pink pickup truck. Okay. I know it says I have a blue sports car on the web browser right now. I have a pink pickup truck. Okay. Each race is a one in two hundred and fifty chance. They're independent. Yes, I know. This was not a math error. This was a, an English error. I'm not saying 250 races means you're guaranteed to win. I'm saying if you ran 1 million samples where the sample only ended when he got a win, you would expect that the average number of races that it would take for him to get a win is 250. Let's put it that way. Does that, does that work for you, Stats Professor 101? I don't even want to talk to you about my, my stats professor in university where one of the first assignments he offered, or he, he assigned, I guess, um, it had like a page limit of two pages and then he was like, include 17 graphs. I included 17 graphs. It came out to like three and a half pages. Then he gave me like a 55% on the assignment because of being over the page limit. And I emailed him back and said I was only over the page limit because you asked me to include 17 graphs. And he said you didn't follow the terms of the assignment, so I had to mark you down. Enjoy tenure. <clears throat> it's okay. It's no, no big deal. I don't hold a grudge or anything. Listen, he's got a job. He's got a pension. He's got a family or whatever. He's got to live with himself. It's gorgeous out there. It's gorgeous. Was January? No, it's February. February 1st, no snow on the ground. Mid-single digits. Lightly cloudy. I might go for a long walk later while you're scraping the ice off your windshield, you piece of crap. Oh, actually, your boss will be really mad if he said you could only email a 250-word email and you emailed him a 300-word email. Get a life. Join the private sector. Anyway, I'm starting the lottery. He's a cool guy. time I've ever, if I ever take stats 211 again, I'm making the graph so tiny, he's going to need to get out a telescope to read them. A microscope? A telescope? I don't know. <laughs> Why do you waterfall your own water bottle? What are you talking about? Waterfall is when you're playing a drinking game and you're in a circle. The first person starts drinking and then the person to their left then has to drink. And then it goes around the circle like that. But nobody, the per, you can't stop until the person to your right stops drinking. So if one person in the waterfall decides to be a jerk, they can just like chug, chug, chug and, and punish all the people that come downstream from them. But be careful because I, I believe um, Queen is a waterfall in the version of Kings that I played. And there's four queens in a deck, brother. So you might not have, you might not want to make enemies out of your neighbors, in uh, with the first waterfall. You might want to wait for the the 
the fourth one. That's what we called water falling. I, I don't remember all the rules of Kings. I definitely remember by the end of... I mean, we were playing some... By the senior year of college, we were playing some degenerate rules of Kings. The first three Kings, the people who draw them pour a little bit of their drink into the King's Cup, for sure. And then the fourth person ends up drinking like a, an awful concoction of like a, like a whiskey sour mixed with Baileys, mixed with like the cheapest beer that money can buy. Remember that one of the cards was all the guys drink. One of the cards was all the girls drink. One of the cards, you, you, um, you guys ever played Dees in French class? I know, Dees nuts, good one. But that's where you like, um, it, it, you go around the circle, you can say either one or two numbers. So it could be like one, two, three, four, five, six, and you lose if you say 10, if you're forced to say 10. Nine is rhyme time, so true. But there's like, there's 13 cards in the, in each suit here. I'm trying to figure out what the heck, I'm, it's been so, 10 is categories, true, dude, this is bringing me back. Eight is pick a mate, whenever you drink for the rest of the game, they have to drink for the rest, and until the next eight is taken. Oh, man. What a, what a game. Anyway, know your limits, stay within it. Let's start the race up here. <laughs> That's some, I wouldn't want to play a game of Kings now. I would probably be dead. But we did it, uh, yeah. I mean, you might, you might start with a couple of games of Kings on a, on a Tuesday night or something like that and just see where it takes you. You ever sucked on the pog pipe? Me neither. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I heard it feels more like... Let's not go there. <laughs> Every night, brother. Oh, man. Ryan, dot, dot, dot. What? Well, we don't like laughing anymore. We don't like to laugh anymore. Does anyone see how messed up this is? Dan's playing Hitman. Dude, Dan discovering chat GPT. This has to be the top of AI, right? This is like the AI market is about to crash. <laughs> no, no. So a super messed up thing to say. You know how they say like, well, you can tell when the shoe shine boy starts giving you uh, stock tips. That's how you know the, it's the bull market is coming to an end. Once, once Dan, who deletes all of his email inbox every uh, 30 days, even though he has like unlimited cloud, sto cloud storage in Gmail, once that guy starts telling you about ChatGPT3, you're like, oh, they're in, they're in for some rough times. Or maybe it means that maybe it means your grandma is going to be using ChatGPT3 soon, probably just to have a conversation because you don't call her enough. Slash user. Frog Pie Five. Seven messages in chat. At eleven sixteen AM, which was right now, they wrote Word. <laughs> Prior to that, the most recent message was in May of twenty twenty two when they said Vermont has a Republican governor and is solidly blue. I'm gonna take them at their word there. I'm gonna guess that that's true. Seven total messages dating back to January 2020. That is some Sigma level lurking, but congratulations on your, on your victory here. Very sane chatter. Saner than me, that's for sure. Okay, this will be the last one here. Gotta be pretty, gotta be pretty confident to pass on the outside. You ever get passed on the right on the highway? No matter how fast you drive, there's always going to be someone that wants to drive faster than you. People say if you're driving slow, you should get into the right lane. That's not what they mean. What they mean is, if you're, if you're driving slower than me, you should be in the right lane. If you follow that to its logical conclusion, everybody would be in the right lane except for one person. Just think about it for even a, a second. Does it, do you think we should really design our roads like that so 99.99% .99 of traffic is on one lane and one car is just zooming in the left? Yeah, maybe if you're an ambulance. Anyway, sorry, I would love your thoughts on this. It's gonna be close. Hot Dog Chain is rated right the finish line. 
But this, uh, it's not going to be close. Hot dog, it, it might be close. Hot dog chain is right at the finish line, but Distant Fox is coming in strong. Never mind, it's just the start of the third lap. I've made a mistake. <laughs> the lap is not, the, the race is not over yet. You should move to oh, mixoma, mixomatosis 2205 out of nowhere. If someone faster than you approaches, you should move to the right. Listen, I agree with that in principle, but there's two things that in practice become a problem there, okay? One of them is usually that lane is freaking full. I'm trying to move over to the right lane, but the right lane's full. The person is tailgating me and the left lane is mad because the left lane's full and I'm out here just holding my hands in the air going, what do you want me to do? The other one is sometimes people don't even give you a second. They like get right on you and you like signal to move into the right lane and then they move to the right to, to move into the lane before you. And then they get stuck behind somebody that's slower than you and you're like making eye contact with them and you're like, that's why I didn't move over until then is because that guy's going so slow. Anyway, sorry, I kind of lost myself for a second there. Merson Hamas now in first place. Making the bold strategic decision to drive at a slow pace. Making the bold strategic decision to flip their car over on a straight road. Mixomatosis has won the race. They came out of nowhere. Merson Hamas has still not crossed the finish line yet. <laughs> what the heck happened? I got hit by the, the greatest missile of all time. And, uh, oh, hey. I came in 104th, considering I started like at the back. That's not too bad. That's not so bad. Did you move it to the SSD? I did not, no. I got, I mean, like, it's, I hesitate to call myself lazy. Like, here's the thing, just being honest. Like, all this shit that you want me to do, it only takes, like, a second. But I have, like, at least, I would say, 300 things to do daily that only take a second. So, like, some of them just fall off the, the damn wagon, honestly. So 300 seconds? I mean, when I say just a second, I mean, like, literally, it takes, like, you know, some of them are, like, two minutes long. Some of them are ten minutes long. They're not literally one minute long each. See, this is how I know that your ass is not as busy as I am, because I don't have time to be that pedantic. I communicate more in, like, a, uh, like a jazz style instead of, like, uh, like math rock. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to say. You're already like, I know what we do here. Now you're going to switch to 9-7 um, time. And then, and then okay, A.B. Taylor, you're going to go, What do I want? Sky, what do I want? Sky, is everything all right? And then, okay, you're going to go, Ka-dunk, 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 ka-dunk. You feeling moldy, ka-dunk, ka-dunk. You feeling... And I'm more like a... Do 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 and then with the brushes do 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 okay anyway I will not be signing up for an IOI account but I will be playing some freelancer nine seven this guy would never make it in school band bro you're playing in search of Uluru in school band you're not playing what would I want Sky by Animal Collective. Honestly, your ass doesn't have the stones. You'd be lost. You wouldn't be able to read it. I wouldn't be able to read it either. That's why I'm not talking shit. I forget what we did. What did we do? Our last mission was on Paris. I remember we threw a remote explosive at our target and then ran out through the front door. That's what's called skill difference. I'm not that familiar with the Mumbai map. So why don't you take me there and, and then we'll try to do... Um, Dubai last because it's going to be the hardest. I'm a little bit more familiar with it. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I mean, actually, a wrench goes crazy. I would rather have a wrench than another remote explosive. And then what do we got here? We got a gun and we got a wrench. And do we have anything in our stash? Not really. This is, I mean, if you want to see how yesterday's Hitman went, just look at how empty my, my stash is right now. We have one pistol. 
and an AK-47, and like, that's it. That's not necessarily like a... It's not the greatest indication of... Uh, well, actually, I think it's the perfect indication of my skill. The long way! Went in Hitman Freelancer the long way. How many campaign victories do you have? That's a funny joke. I've never even beaten the first boss mission. I don't know, I'm just... I... What? No! No, I don't want to exit the mission! Uh, the only button is okay? I didn't do anything. Those guys are so close, though. We will probably be okay. I tell you what. Oh my god. shit, man. What the? Look sharp, jerk off. Yes. They don't know. They don't know. I'm free. It's me. You there? Some dickheads knocking people out. That's me, dude. I'm the dickhead. Possibly the most silent attack you'll ever see. And then we snap his neck. And then. That's the non target! No, I killed the guy for no reason. Well done, 47. But now. I'm part of the Queen's Guard. Well, well, well. Dude, that was. By my standards, that was clean. I mean, it's, it's very tempting in this situation to just shoot him with a gun. And then. Run for your life. <laughs> it's You know what? It's actually very tempting. Hold on. I got a great idea. Make sure he's the closest guy to us. I think I've, I've actually got this figured out. Here's my plan. One wrench throw. He investigates. We pick it up. We throw the wrench here. When he comes to investigate that one, we kick him down the elevator shaft. And then if he doesn't die at the bottom, we just pop him in the head a couple times. Yeah, that's how I would have did it. Okay, this is step one, starting now. She knows me. Holy cow, he is pissed off. I didn't realize that was... <laughs> Holy cow, dude, chill out. He's not coming over, man. Okay, second step, go up one more floor and then shoot down. Go up two more floors, shoot down. Can I go? Yes, I know you're a god too. Sorry, buddy. I mean, when I see one guy. It's just the way it's got to be. Not the face. Any he noticed that? He noticed that, huh? Turns out it was not one guy. I'm going to put my wrench away for a second. Hey, hey, wake up. Okay, I've been compromised. It's you. It's got to be you. Hey, stay sharp. Do we have a description of who we're looking for? He's trying to look like a security man, so uh, look out. He looked like a security man, so look out. Okay, I'm out. Of, I'm out of here. I was trying to crack that dude. He's dressed like security detail. I'm out of here. Okay, I'm taking that guy's outfit. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. 
Oh my god, get a life. I need another throwable, man, because I, I can't keep throwing my wrench to make this happen. You can't throw a gun. You can throw bullets with the gun? Like, I can shoot the gun. I don't think that's what I want to do, though. I'm, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of this idea. Okay, I, I think they're not going to be a fan of this idea, but that's okay. I'm sorry to do this. This guy goes first. You go second. Now I am wearing a Bollywood crew disguise, which means, in my personal opinion, probably makes sense to drop uh, an illegal weapon. Only one person out here knows who I am, and we're, and we're right back where we started. Dare we do a wrench strategy once more? How about something like this? Just give it a chance. And one by one. One by one. Please tell me he's not coming from down the stairs. He might recognize me, especially if I'm holding a wrench. Nobody's coming, man. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to shoot him in the head. You see me? The controls. I gotta, I gotta remember the controls. Okay. It was a fake gun. It's a movie set. Like, what is wrong with people? Goodbye. How did you know I was here? It's alright, I know this place like the back of my freaking hand, dude. He saw me? I mean, it's got, it, it had to go down like this. I didn't want it to go down like that. You made it go down like that, just for the record. This is the outfit I wanted the whole time. Nice shot. You missed, by the way. Yeah, throw a grenade up an elevator shaft. Let me know how that works out for you. Okay, they got they got eyes. <laughs> now the staircase is my workshop. I'm sorry. I need to take an SMG. I might as well get the get the man coin now. Nice miss. Nice miss. It always goes like this. I didn't want it to go like this. Where did you come from? I didn't want it to go like this. I had a plan. Where's my... Oh, we already got our SMG. We're chilling. Take, 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 out, take out the fusel then. Okay. I agree. Changing outfits seems sensible here. Let the record show I didn't shoot until you saw me. I didn't want to go... I didn't want it to go down like that. Why is your plan always just throw a wrench until they investigate? Why is your plan always uh, ring a bell and I'll salivate? How would you like that? Dr. Landing, tell me you're not just a pedagogue. Cause right now I'm... <laughs> you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Brian Wilson? No? It's a Bare Naked Ladies song. Why'd you shoot? Well, I don't know. When you're a hammer, everything looks like a damn nail. 16 bullets left? We don't reload. We don't reload on 16.
Okay, all enemies are dead. And every single person is my enemy. Body found. I find that hard to believe, quite frankly. Just save ourselves a little problem later. <laughs> okay. Oh. Where did you come from? Get a life. Guard? Not a guard, guy? Guard? They must have no more security. I think, I think I'm set. I have five bullets. Take out, take out a different gun, man! Take the bullets out your gun. The bullets out your gun. We move undercover and we move as one. <laughs> okay, what are we at? 25 here? 25 bullets remaining? Bro, you're gonna make me find another staircase? That's like my my number one pet peeve. For God's sakes, just die? Just, can I, what the hell? Hold on, my regenerating health? Just take the L? What do you mean take the L? We got a chance, dude. Okay, now I gotta I gotta scale the damn wall again. He's right. How are you still alive? Because I'm extremely good at the... at Hitman. Yes! Ooh, unlock the key card reader with the luxury apartment key card. Don't mind if I do. Well, well, well. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. I am going to enjoy this one. Excellent work, 47. You've spread fear within the syndicate. You think so? Get ready. Get ready. Sure thing. Get get ready for what? You've all died. I could just walk out right now. Tango in the Less talking, more shooting. Damn. Did I see someone there? Oh, I did. I don't even know if that guy was armed. But you know what? Every single person is my enemy. The hell is going? And I'm the monster. I'm the monster. He's got a pink tiger in here. I'm the monster. Whatever you say. Oh, I guess I'm the monster now. <laughs> that was not necessary. I honestly thought that I would just knock her out. Wow, it's just that easy. Looks clear to me. He said it looks clear to me. You know what's crazy? After all the new positions that are open at his company, he's probably going to get a promotion. It's called the Pareto Principle. If you'll excuse me? <laughs> Mission accomplished. Probably not, like, super clean with it, but we did accomplish some of our... We accomplished at least one bonus objective. If that dude just investigated the hammer, he would have saved, like, a lot of lives. Flexible murderer. Sounds like a Super Auto Pets team name. I know what I must do, okay? I have a game plan. We just need some patience. He walks by. Silent attack. Drag his body into here. 
become a security guard. That's me. I'm the security guard. Grab his gun so nobody's going to investigate it. Pop it in here. Now I should be able to access the party. And I should be able to just, I mean, there's a lot of opportunities. Like I'm sure I could take advantage of in here. One of them, I think, is just sneak behind here, drop some Semtex, and then wait for... So, hello. Wait for her to come back. Just pop her. No, doubt her. This is my game plan. Seriously, could you please just give me a half an hour alone? I need to pay. What? You heard that, huh? That's weird. But we should check it out. What's crazy about it is that it was not Semtex. <laughs> it was that was just uh that was just nothing. I'm worried because I think the guy is gonna the bartender is gonna come back and be like, what's this Semtex doing here? Couldn't care less. If you Oh the knife. If you press C, you can just place it on the floor quietly. Okay. To share my condolences concerning your father. I never met him, but I know he loved art. Thank you, but it's really not necessary. <laughs> I have Oh, don't be silly. I'm here for you. But it doesn't matter if they take the Semtex. Nobody saw me place the Semtex. So even if she sees it, I'm okay. Here's, dude, here she comes, here she comes. Okay, she smokes first and then she goes back. And then she gets a, she eats a granola bar next to the bar. Nobody's noticed this yet. We're okay. It's not, it's not my tempo yet. Here she comes. I would like to minimize non-target casualties if possible. Cool jacket, if you could remove yourself from the situation. Okay. She's going sky high, brother. Congratulations, officer. The leader is eliminated. Mm -hmm. Sending a clear message. Return to the safe house. I'm just waiting for the search to be over, and then I'm... <laughs> then I'm ready to go. You know what we could do now, actually? We could leave... Put on our own suit again. Why not? I mean, they're not looking for me. It was the security uh, personnel who placed the who placed the Semtex. If anybody saw somebody place it, then all you got to say is it was a security guard. They're not going to let you leave. Oh, you think they're going to interview everybody on the way out? I don't really care if you spotted me. Honestly, I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> oh, it counts as being spotted? I was just spotted being a weirdo. I wasn't, I wasn't spotted doing any, I guess, trespassing is a crime, but whatever. Dude, this is like the first time this has ever happened. Choose payout. We did succeed on the mission. And it was, it was clean! Except for the ending. The, that was like the cleanest I've ever done a hit in this game. At least in the roguelite mode. Going up one more floor. I'm not like other, uh, other guys. I prefer to go up one floor the long way. I think I'm actually going to have to take the stairs. You look so focused right now. Because I am so focused because this is the furthest I've ever been. Prior to this moment, I've exclusively been... You, you blew it up! You blew it up, damn you! My two cents. No! I'm gone. You will never find me. I right, get low, boys. Get low. I'm going down the stairs. Take the take the hammer out. We out here. And then we disappear. I know this map like the back of my hand. Models, move, please, move. Come 
I know you're gonna say this is not the way to do it. It's the way I'm doing it. Surrender the hammer. You heard me. I'm surrendering. I'll put down my weapon. Sorry, sorry. I hit the wrong button. I've snapped your neck. Now into the kitchen. Run, run, run. Trust me, you don't want to be involved in this. Big open room. It's not my tempo. The helipad. My, surrounded by guards. My tempo, my tempo. Up and over. Into the garden shed. You didn't see that. Everybody has to make sacrifices in this world. Scale! I think I lost my hammer. I'm dead. I'm dead. I've died. Oh! I got I got into a little bit of a rush. Okay, we did not succeed, but the the campaign's not over, I think. People were like you were doing fine. Yeah, cuz I didn't do anything. <laughs> I literally, like, hadn't even made any progress towards the objective. People were like, you were still in a good spot. Because I hadn't taken any action yet. The hell is he? Okay, we have to go this way. But in order to get there, we need to be able to get... Oh, maybe we could just go this way. Hack it, I'm missing an item. Maybe we could just go this way. <laughs> We go the long way. Oh, hold it. Hang on. I got to sneeze. <laughs> One of the best parts of being a little older is learning to work on your form, not just for lifting heavy things, but also learning to, to work on your form when you sneeze so you don't throw out something in your back. You're gone, brother. This is the cleanest mission I've ever done in my life. How do I not sneeze hurt? I think the, I, the most important thing to do with a sneeze is not throw out your back. So when I sneeze, I, as a young man, you're tempted to ego sneeze. Ah, 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 two! You bend like right at the torso and make your back do like a, a C. Don't do that. What you, do, what you wanna do when you feel the sneeze coming, you, you don't like, you brace yourself. You don't like make yourself rigid, but you brace yourself a little bit and then you just let yourself sneeze with just your head and your neck. You're not really like pulling yourself back because that could hurt too, but you just sort of brace yourself and go, achoo, don't, don't lean into it, I promise you. It'll, it'll do more harm than good. Location. And you just say achoo? Sorry, first time sneezer here? Yeah, I would say you just, you just say achoo and you're good to go. Gray hair, glass, gray hair, earring. He sneezes. I know what I must do. Huh, who did that? What the heck was that? Wait for it. Wait for the door. The door. Sorry, brother. Now. Street guard. I could do anything. I've got the keys to the kingdom. I can go wherever I choose. I've got a wrench. I've got a gun and nobody cares. That's why I took the wrench. Like, I think it has been crazy value. Hey, hang on for a second. This is why we have silenced pistols. It's too strong for me, Traveler. You know what you do? Watch this. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is a it's a tough strat here, but just give me a second. Starts like this. Wrench. Who threw that? Wrench. Who the heck freaking threw that? Wrench. It's because of this damn rubber floor, dude. Okay, how about this? Wrench on the wall behind this guy. <laughs> Intrusive thoughts. Quick hot swap to the gun. It buys us a little bit more time. He walks over. He doesn't see this. You holster the gun. Nobody's coming this way. Nobody's coming this way. You pick up the handyman's wrench. You discard or disguise yourself as facility security. And now. The fox is in the hen house. What about the bodies? I'm not sweating the bodies. Maybe I'll disguise myself as the CEO. Hey, hold, hang on a second here. Whoa, what the heck was that? Don't worry, I'll go in with you, sir. Let's investigate. Typical. Just typical. Now I am a facility analyst. I need to get down. I need the tier two you access. To open this door. You got tier two access? I feel like a, like a doctor would have tier two access. No, dude, she would definitely have tier two frickin' access. I don't need her disguise. I just need her tier two dongle. Got a dong <laughs> she doesn't even have a dongle, man. She's just got an apricot. Sir, uh, maybe check out the server room real quick. See if anybody left some dongles just sitting around. Maybe, uh, maybe poison the whole uh, building. Just shoot everything. Malph, I'm about a second away from doing that, just so you know. As bad as it gets, Royce called it a genuine fuck up to my face. Bro, my ass is in tier two. You're cool with me. I have no quarrel with you. Here's the problem, though. <laughs> Trapped like a, like a rat in a cage. Denied. Trapped like a rat in a cage. What do you think about the oldest gamble of all time? The old wrench... He's not even here anymore. It's all right. She'll come back down. We'll smack her, take her USB key. I'm doing this all to try to find the freaking the the suspects, but there's other suspects too. Like the suspect might not even be here. I'm, I'm my ass is kind of just wandering. Am I even supposed to be? I'm not supposed to be on this floor, man. It's all tier two. Just complete the mission? Yeah, bro, I know, uh, duh. I'm trying to complete the mission, but you want to make sure you you wipe the wrong one. Security protocol overruled. Because if you wipe... You're going to have to leave right now, sir. Okay, you have a I don't mean hurt you. Why are they mad at me? Oh, because I'm in the security area? <laughs> I've been walking around here with no problems up to this point, though. Is maybe they saw you hack the door? What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, you know what we gotta do? I got a perfect idea. <laughs> Hang on here for just a sec. Do that. 
My apricot. I didn't think it would break. Hey, uh, Central, it's me. Yeah, yeah, come on in. He is not coming in. He's zooming. You see how fast he's running around here? Oh, dude, they found her body. <laughs> yes, like a minute ago. I'm gone, dude. Get me out of here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just here from the newspaper. Don't follow me. Please don't follow me. You know, these facility security real quick. Alrighty, okay, and we're right back, uh, right back into it. It's Paris Hilton. I think, I think she's blonde, but I can't really tell. Hello there. Oh. Hey. Hello to you as well. Hey. But she was smoking, Get and she was holding a cigarette. Just Domer? That's my bad. Like, I shouldn't be in here. I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out. 47. The target is trying to escape. No! Okay. This is what... After all that, this is what it comes down to. Bro, where's she going? I don't know the map. That's my non-target, so that... <laughs> I actually did the spin like I'm... You're trying to escape. Dude, let me look at my mini-map! What the fuck? I think we're in, a lot of, we're in a lot of trouble here. Probably the person we marked prime suspect that's in the facility. No, no, no. Okay, top right. Can I escape through the, the side of the arcade? Could you, could you get the lead out? Could you run a little faster? The long way. Oh no, I got real problems. My, I'm pretty sure the person I was supposed to kill was the person that Chad told me it couldn't be because they were snacking instead of smoking. <laughs> I guess it could. Uh, this could. Oh, I marked them not a suspect. I don't know. Okay. Well, I think we just have to run back. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I, I have to make some serious progress here very quickly. Don't shoot me. Run a little serpentine. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I think what it is, I don't necessarily think it's that chat's wrong. I think it's like any situation where you allow yourself to be governed by committee is destined to fail. To the drawing board. If the ta if the chatter took the chatter's advice, they would probably do better than if they took any of my advice. And if I just did my own thing, I would do better than if I took any chatter's advice. When you let people design by committee, that's how you end up with a uh, with the Homer Simpson car. People are like, oh, well, the number one thing to me in a car, four wheels and, and a, a steering wheel and it drives well. Then somebody's like, bro, the car stereo has to output minimum 140 decibels didn't homer design it by himself yeah but homer is a composite for the mediocre and unremarkable american man he's one guy who's all of us but we know that nothing is predictable in this line of work i'm sure you'll get back on the saddle let me know when you're ready for your next assignment so true so true okay we choose prediction we did not make it through that mission that's a new pb though and I think we got better. I'm going to go check it out before radioing anything else in. That was one of the scariest things I've had to do in this entire game. Who discovered this one? This guy right here. Okay. Hold on. This is why you got a, you got a hammer as well and, and a lead pipe. Okay. There any more of you?
That's why throwable melee, in my opinion, is like the most useful item class in the game. Holy cow, it never ends, man. Who found this one? Come in command. <laughs> hey. found Don't let me forget my pipe and my hammer, okay? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You can run through the water. Oh, shit. I didn't think she could get it. I didn't, I didn't think she'd get close enough. I thought they were looking at their phones. I'm going to block this crab hole real quick. What'd you think would happen? Oh, I didn't really worry about it too much. I'm just gonna pick up some coconuts if you don't mind. Pick up this fusil. I still think we're making it out of here. First off, they don't even know that I'm a bad guy. Hey, drop, holster the gun, drop the gun. I'm gonna say drop the gun. Clean as a whistle, baby. They're one more floor up. Okay, we need to lure somebody. Someone like you! You know this one? It's not my favorite song of all time. It's, it's okay. Must have been the wind. You need to follow me right now. No question. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yep. Keep that distance, sir. I'm coming. Sorry. I'm sorry about this. I didn't know. I, Dude, I literally didn't know I was not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be up the elevators? Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Hello. This seems bad. Sorry, brother. Oh, if you'll excuse me. Oh. Slide down the elevator. Get off on this floor. Get up on this floor. Now this. Oh, okay. You think you you think you're slick, huh? Oh, I'll be going down one more floor. You didn't see you didn't see nothing. If you think you saw something, you didn't see anything. We'll be going up a floor. In fact, maybe, just maybe, we'll be going up two floors. Well, well, well. You didn't happen to see anything at all, did you? Perfect crime. The, the absolute most perfect crime ever committed. Hello. He's actually completely insane at the game. And then break his neck. That's what we in the business call stealth. Return to the safe house. Collect yourself. I'll be in touch. 45 meters away. <laughs> A lot of y'all thought that wouldn't work. That was supposed to hit you in the face. That one was supposed to hit you in the head. He's not investigating. Big mistake. Big mistake. Well, I failed all of my objectives. I, I did notice that. Hey, don't, where's your gun? Oh, there it is. Ooh! Be 
be cool. <laughs> well, well, well. Dude, I'm losing it. Kate, I'm losing it with these, uh, these new daycare emails. Because our kid ages out of daycare soon. You email to get a spot on the wait list. They say, hey, just so you know, we don't email you back unless you're like selected for an interview or whatever. By the way, we can't in never inquire as to the state of your application or we'll remove you from the wait list. Okay. May got an email, made an appointment. Last night, they sent me a list of questions. The questions are literally like, what's your child's name? What's their birth date? Do they have any food allergies? I went to bed before answering the email. I just got an email that's like, please answer these today so we can forward them to the teacher so she can prepare for the interview. Bro, what's to prepare? She's two years old. I have faith in you. You're, you're looking after like 30 kids. I'm sure you can, you can process their name, their birth date, and no food allergies and their toilet habits. With with less than 20, you can do it with 16 hours notice, okay? You don't need the 24 hours notice specifically for that. Hey, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, to The Graduate. I mean, when I think about The Graduate, I'm only thinking about Dustin Hoffman. So we're going from like Julianne, surely, surely Julianne Moore and Dustin Hoffman have been in a movie together. Vince Vaughn and Dustin Hoffman, I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Dustin Hoffman, ensemble cast. Runaway Jury, of course, is a classic, but that's Rachel Weiss. Vince Vaughn, Dustin Hoffman. Pete Postal Wait takes you to the town, takes you to Ben Affleck or Jeremy Renner. How would we get to, what's the easiest way to get to Dustin Hoffman? You could get to Tom Cruise. You could definitely get to Tom Cruise and then get to Dustin Hoffman via Rain Man. You could get to Meryl Streep. Surely Julianne Moore to Meryl Streep is like a straight line. You could get to Jason Schwartzman. Find it easy to believe that maybe Jeff Goldblum is in the Life Aquatic. with Jason Schwartzman. Ooh, but it's a Wes Anderson movie, so you're going to get there either way. You go Bill Murray, Rushmore, Jason Schwartzman, I Heart Huckabees, I Less Than Huckabees, okay, Dustin Hoffman. Okay, it's uh, a bit of an unusual... Path, I suppose, but not bad. I emoji Huckabees. I think Huckabees predates the emoji, so I didn't know how to search for it. Vaughn to Starsky and Hutch to Ben Stiller to Along Came Polly. Hey, I actually, now that you mentioned, I should have figured this one out. Vince Vaughn to anything with Ben Stiller, which should be easy enough, to... Meet the Fockers, where Dustin Hoffman plays Father Fokker to the graduate. Or to Dustin Hoffman to the graduate. I forgot. That's probably the easiest because you could get there via De Niro. You could get there via um, ben, ben Stiller. You could get there via Blythe Danner. You could get there via Barbara Streisand. Not that you would. Anyway, Kate, are you ready to... Are you ready to go? Kate's prepping the kiwi. What's the prep? It's just you don't peel it. If anything, prepping the kiwi would be... It would be antithetical to her goals. She's washing it? Yeah, but washing a piece of fruit tastes like... Three seconds? <laughs> Tell me you don't have ADHD without telling me you don't have ADHD? Yeah, okay, I don't have ADHD. Actually, what I should say is I exist in the quantum superposition of having undiagnosed ADHD and not having uh, ADHD, depending on 
what Chad wants to be mad at me for. If I'm ever like, hmm, I'm hungry, but I think I'll go to the bathroom before I make a sandwich, people are like, that's ADHD. Sorry, brother, you got to go see a therapist immediately. And if I'm ever like, I don't think I have ADHD, I complete my tasks uh, successfully in a reasonable time frame most of the time, they say, uh, oh, must be nice to not have ADHD. I'm like, I, I can't win for losing, man. It's the worst part of being relatively neurotypical is you get bullied like crazy. People are like, must be nice. And I'm like, brother, I don't even know who you are. I don't, I don't know the alternative. It's, it's not nice or not nice. It's just, it just is. Anyway, I don't know what this game is. It looks like, to me, this looks like PlayStation 2 era blood. I'm going to say this is Resident Evil 3. Nemesis, which I don't even think came out on the PS2. Metacritic score of 88. This is Grand Theft Auto 3. Holy cow. Original platform PC. This shit um, is L.A. Noir. <laughs> I don't know. L.A. Noir is, uh, it has dots between each of the letters. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. This is Mafia. Malf, I'm sorry it took me so long. Look at that, it's Mafia. No, I'm not sorry because Mafia sounds like, or Malf sounds like Mafia. I'm, uh, I'm sorry because Mafia is like one of Malf's favorite games. He's always talking about Malf. He's always talking about Mafia. I can't say the two words. I can't say Malf and then Mafia. It's two different... It's the same like spelling, but the different emphasis on the vowels. Okay, let me send a message to her. She's already live. I think. Streaming, eating kiwi like an apple. It's so funny to me that this is like a big deal, or at least a, a mild deal. Because I told Kate that's how I used to eat kiwis as a kid. And it wasn't even like to be weird. It was just like, why waste the time peeling it when instead I could just eat it? There's nothing really wrong with it. I mean, if, you, if someone else was offering, if they were like, hey, do you want it peeled? I'd be like, sure, if you got time. If they were like, um, here's a kiwi and it was unpeeled, I would be like, I'll just eat it. It's not that weird. I mean, like, peeling a banana takes like two seconds. Peeling an orange, necessary. The orange peel does not taste good in that kind of quantity. A kiwi is just sort of like... You just get over it. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Later. You know, when I bought the kiwi on the package, it says, cut, scoop, enjoy. None of it is said, eat it with the skin or uh, eat it like an apple. It said, cut, scoop, enjoy so i don't know what y'all talking about uh the way to eat the d way to eat kiwi is to eat it like an apple like i don't even know where that came from because even the companies they advertise it as like you eat it just the inner part this is the secret way maybe maybe there's a reason why it's secret you ever thought of that? You ever thought why it's secret? I don't know what I don't like more. Me on the camera. Me eating this kiwi. Hello, Chet. I got, I got the kiwi right here. Not cut. Just washed. But then I have a question. Do you, do you eat this top too? Top here. And then, like, the other side has, like, a bunch of, what would you call that? bunch of, like, hair on it. Do you eat the core of an apple? No. But I asked Ryan, like, if he eats the center, and then he said he did. He said he didn't even know Kiwi had, like, a center thing like that. And I was like, how do you not realize? 
I think Ryan is like, he's a, he's a dog. <laughs> Just kidding. He's an egg. Is the kiwi supposed to be not soft? It seems a little hard. I don't know why I'm so stressed out about this. It's just I have never eaten anything this like hairy. Is it supposed to be this hairy? Can you see? David, look what my chat made me to do. I thought yesterday I thought haha that would be funny. And then today I'm like I'm I was stupid. I was an idiot. But you eat the end? Do you eat this end? Or do you just leave this end? Top, bottom, no, center. Okay, okay, I see. So like this part, this part, no. But the center. You eat it all? North American people surprises me every day. Cultural shock. I, I'm like, I get cultural shark in Asia and in North America. I think I need to make my own country. <laughs> I hate eating on Steve. I, it's, it's not that I don't like eating the kiwi with the skin. I just do not like eating in front of the camera. That's the thing. <laughs> it's so not good. <laughs> How is it? The skin is like bitter and like the inside of the kiwi is like sweet, but like the skin is so thick. And like chewy and like I don't want to eat it my whole body is telling me don't eat it but I'm eating it literally never seen anyone eat the skin before bro go to my Twitter I got freaking two freaking thousand replies saying like well isn't that supposed to be how you eat the kiwi it's more fiber it's better that way it actually tastes better I've only in the I only in kiwi like that in like my own whole life wait 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 is there a way like is, is there a different way of eating kiwi like that what, what are you talking about I only eat kiwi with the skin what wait what is this even a challenge why do the people the people give you money to eat it like this that's how I eat it normally uh, freaking It's, uh, it's, I'm telling you, with the skin, it tastes worse. Y'all gotta get up, your heavy bum, get a freaking spoon, and eat it with a spoon. I don't know why it is so hard to eat it with a spoon. It's more fiber. That's the thing that actually, like, pisses me off. It's more nutritious, it's more fiber. <sighs> you Watanabe, thank you very much for the subscription gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't cut it with a spoon. Get a knife! Get a knife! <laughs> just God, I just, I'm trying to tell myself it's not that bad, it's not that bad. I just, I'm telling you, if you have only eaten kiwi like this, try cut it in half and eat it with a spoon, okay? I think you might, I might, I might have just told you, like, to the key to the new world. Because, like, that way it tastes even better. The fact that people say it's more nutritious this way and that it's more fiber pisses me off. It's not like, oh my gosh, this like, if you eat it without the peel, it's like nutritious zero. But then like, if you eat it with the peel, it's a nutritious thousand. I saw some people eat the whole watermelon. I'm not even kidding. Like they eat the the green stuff too. Like, like they're like, Dude, that's the best part. I'm not even kidding. They say like, that's the best part. Like the red part is tasty, but then the green part is like the best part. And then they just eat the whole thing. And I was like, people are weird, man. 
The kiwi is too sour for me. It's stinging my tongue. I'm not allergic. I'm not allergic, dude. I eat kiwis. Unless you put poison on this. One or two more bites. I'm good. Maybe take a big bite. Oh, it's so sour. Never again. Never again. Don't even clap for me. I got so many tweets. That they were like so confused why this was a challenge or even people pay paid gift sub to make me do this and i felt like my 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 like what i know is true became like not true thank you thank you like everyone was like well isn't that how supposed to isn't that how you're supposed to eat that thing is that so opposed to you eat the kiwi? And it's just like people just like made me feel like they were gaslighting me thinking that I was crazy. But you know, to those people, I'm just telling you, cut it in half, eat it with a spoon. You will experience new world and it will it will taste good. Oh. Oh. I'm just so glad it was only one kiwi. It's not like a whole bag of kiwi. Yay. Okay, bye now. Fruit with skin tier list win. It gotta be like, I think the last place gotta be like watermelon, orange, um, banana, pineapple, dragon fruit, durian. Banana is fine. What are you talking about? You eat banana with skin? Ted is actually insane. Banana is fine? Wait, now you're too lazy to even peel the banana, dude? Banana peel is better than the banana itself? These are just lies. This is how ga gaslighting happens. This is just like, people gaslight someone into, like, it's like a mass... It's like mass gaslighting one person. Banana peel is okay blended? What are you talking about? Why would you blend a banana peel from the first place? For a smoothie? Just use the banana, not the peel. That's just a lie. Stop lying. You blend the whole banana? That's just lies, dude. Ryan, I ate the kiwi like an apple. How was it? It was not good. Would you say would you say without the skin is better than with skin? Yeah, if someone else is peeling. Oh my god! If someone else is peeling it for you, then it tastes better? Yeah. Then why would you eat it with the skin? Because you're too lazy? Yeah. Oh my god! You gotta pick your battle. Dude. I don't know if that's a white thing or male thing. Maybe it's both white male thing. Swedish Aladdin. <laughs> I can show you the fjords. Colt Boulard with lingam berries. Henrik Daniel, Sardin Elias, Peterson. Uh, Matt Sandin, a whole new world. Sorry. Uh, yeah.